Hi guys. Um, is this something I've been wanting for as long as I can remember, honestly? I think since I was 10, which is when I learned what, what this animal was, this animal being a crested gecko. And this video is gonna be my journey to get my crested gecko. Now, I guess I should have started filming this when I was 10 if we really want to get the whole journey but um in the past few weeks I've been really persistent with my family um that being my mother and my father to try and get this crested gecko now I thought my mom was completely off like she was like there was like zero chance so I was going I was trying to convince my dad so I was like okay he actually has told me that he likes reptiles so maybe there's a chance I can convince him to like house it at his house right and that um obviously i'll do all the taking care of it everything care everything i'll will do it because i want to but hence the whole point because like what are reptiles as pets other than like cool things to look at and like and like take care of because like really you don't handle them that much like you can especially crested geckos you can socialize them get them good but like to handle but it's not like a dog where you're like running around outside like playing with it all the time like it's like a fish tank you know like it's like okay but it's that's that's what i want so i guess i should have started filming this a few weeks ago when i was trying to convince my dad but then a whole bunch of life changing things happened and um i was a bit derailed um, but then also, no, I wasn't. I'm not going to say what those things are just for my own sanity. I don't want to be thinking about it. But I, I was convincing my dad to get a gecko at this point. And I thought I was getting there, right? I was like, I was like really close. I was going to convince him in the next like few days. So I was telling my mom, just like, you know, I think dad might actually let me get a gecko. So like, that would be pretty cool. You don't need to worry. I'm so happy because finally my dad felt bad enough for me that he was like, he was like, oh, fine. You can have the gecko at my house. I was like, well, that's no fun. Like now I don't, not that I don't want it, but I was like, now I'm like, I don't want to do that to you. Like clearly you're not, you're not like happy about it. I'm like, well, you know, like I'm not that selfish if you don't want it really don't and you're just doing it like completely just for me i'm like well i guess it is for me anyway but the the attitude around it was like not good i was like no it's fine I'm like oh whatever but then i told all this to my mother we had a long talk and i had to sacrifice my firstborn it was a fucking an arm and a leg, my firstborn, my blood, sweat, and tears, literally. And and she was like, fine, fine, you can get the gecko. I was like, are you for real? But then when my mom says that, she knows it makes me happy, so she is happy. Versus like my dad was kind of just like, whatever, like, I don't care. And then my mom is like, for you, a gecko. So, um... I'm very happy. This is the beginning of my journey to get a gecko. Um, I will be getting it at the Reptile Expo uh, June 25th, which is like three weeks and a day away, which is so exciting. Um, and my plan is to get a baby, baby gecko, um, or at least as small of a, of an age as I can find. Like, obviously, I don't want, like, a hatchling. But I do want a, a little guy. Just a little guy. So, I'm, anyway, I'm so excited. Um, And we found an old fish tank that I had. And that'll be the, the enclosure he's going to be in. Or she. I don't know. We'll be in um when we first get them. Because they're little. They don't need the whole the whole big enclosure that they'll get when they're older they'll older when they're older um which obviously i know like the fucking fish tank is like three gallons like i know i can't keep across a gecko in a three gallon enclosure forever but i can when they're this big so 
you know what like hate me all you want okay whatever i know i know i'm doing my research i mean i've done i've done research okay i work with reptiles like my job anyway i'm so excited and i'm gonna do even more research because i want to be 100 percent sure about every single thing It's just heating up right now. It's gonna get to about 500. And then it'll melt through the last of the If we could run it back and do it one Today's the day. Today's the real day. I get my gecko today. I'm so excited. It's only like 8.30 in the morning. And I am... Um, I'm only going to work at like 2. So there's still a whole lot of day that needs to happen. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll get back to you. I'm gonna do some morning stuff. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. I uh, just got my nose pierced like two days ago. So I still have to clean it for like a good few months. I'm getting my gecko today. I'm so excited. But I also have a nail appointment today at like 10.30 and it's nine now. And I need to stop at the bank before I go. Oh, that's my dog. He wants to be let in. Let's go let him in. I also need to give him water. That's what we're gonna do. I haven't really let myself get excited because every like specific day I've given myself to get this gecko hasn't worked out. So I'm like, yeah, why would it work out now? But it actually is. Yeah, I'm really fucking excited. Except for the fact that I literally am going to a party after work. So, like I don't even have time to just hang out and like chill with it. Okay. Today I'm getting my nails done. Appointment is for 10.30 officially. I thought it was gonna be for 11, it's for 10.30. I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I need to speed run like researching what to do because these bitches are horribly grown out. I also like, don't go to any like fancy place. I go somewhere that's like relatively cheap because I don't care about them being like fucking Pinterest level nails yet. I mean, I don't know, maybe at some point in my life I'll want like those like crazy designs or whatever, but I'm fine with just my, the place I go to now. I just don't think I'm gonna do that again because they, they fuck up so easily. Like I bite the nails a little bit. A good thing about me having fake nails is that when I bite my nails, I know they're not gonna come off. Like I'll do that with my normal nails and then keep biting and bite them off. But with this, like I don't actually bite them off, but when it's mad, if you can kind of see there, like if it'll fucking focus. It's kind of like messed up near the top. Even this finger, all of them basically are messed up near the top and it's because of me biting them and then the uh, mat like comes off so it looks like I've been eating my fucking finger. Just not cool. I'm gonna do something shiny. I don't know whether to go like full out Post Malone nails. Like have like fucking this hand say like P-O-S-T-Y and then these be the colors of his albums because now that's gonna be five. So this would be like orange, yellow, dark blue, fucking gray and red, and uh, light blue. Which sounds fun in theory, but uh, it also would need a lot of explaining and would probably be grown out by the time of the concert. So I might just, honestly, that era, I might just do my fucking self. And then I'll, I'll update you guys when I'm actually getting my fucking gecko. Cause I'm gonna come back here after nails. Cause now that it's 10.30, it's gonna be done like 12.30 and I only have to be at work at two, so. I'm at work now, got my nails done. And more importantly, I got it. 
This is... Oh, he fell. Okay. He's like two and a half, three months old. I'm saying he, but he's definitely too young to be sexed yet. And I'm... I'm so happy. I'm done doing like my actual job part of my job. Like I came here really early so I could get everything I needed to get done, done, and then just admire him for like an hour. Until, um, I have to go back to doing work, but like... I got I got him! Oh, I'm so excited and he's so much, so much prettier than I ever could have imagined. I'm obsessed, obsessed. And everyone here is being so nice to me. They're like, oh my God, if you need anything, like I'll help you, like I've got stuff, you know. It's so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at him. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. I love him. just finished work. Oh my god. That was stressful, stressed, and long. But I've got my gecko. I've got my gecko. I'm putting it in the cup holder. Okay, I'm going home. I'm gonna get ready for the party that I don't even really want to go to. No offense, it's not. Like, the guy who invited me is, uh, he's really nice. Uh, and it's not because of him that I don't want to go. I just feel kind of yucky. I just want to hang out and stare at my gecko. So I'll probably only go there for like an hour, maybe two, if I'm feeling better. Plus the people I normally go with aren't there. The people who I normally go to these, like, these parties are with like people I knew from high school. And the people I normally go with aren't gonna be there. So, okay, bye, but I've got my fucking gecko. Well, this video will finish when I put it in the bin that's right there. Hey guys, I forgot to film it, but um, actually no, I purposely didn't because I was really scared because the, anyway, I moved him into here, into his bin. Um, I was gonna have this like plant in there, but it's a bit too much in there right now. Um, and the reason I didn't film it is because he's very jumpy and I just wanted my full attention to be on making sure he didn't jump out of my hands and like onto the floor. But he's in there now and I'm gonna go to this fucking party that I don't wanna go to, but I'm gonna go just cause I wanna brag to everybody about how much cooler I am than them. Anyway, I gotta go, I'm already late. Uh, but hold on, I'll film another video. This is him in his little bin. This is what the bin looks like right now. There's just like, that was the, um thing that was in here, the paper towel, just so it smells like what he's known for a little bit. And then there's a stick, the stick in there, uh, this new leaf thing that I already had, it's fake. And then just more leaves and paper towel substrate so that he can't eat it. And so I'll be able to see if he poops, but uh, hopefully he's able to find food in here, but that will be an issue for when we actually feed him. Back from the party. I mean, I've been back, I'm like changed. And I've got my little man. I just misted the enclosure. It's at 76% humidity, which is really nice. This is the enclosure. I have a, uh, right there is a temperature and humidity reader. And he's right there. You can see him. And the temperature right now, if you couldn't read it, is at 73 degrees Fahrenheit and 76% humidity, which are both very good numbers for crested geckos. So, so far I'm not terrible at keeping a crested gecko, which I'm happy about, because if I killed this thing, I would 
kill myself. No. Uh, can I say that? But yeah, that I guess that concludes like the getting the gecko journey, but I, I I don't feel like that's the end. I feel like there's still so much I need to do. I didn't show me misting it because I was doing it with my mom, so I wasn't filming. I'll film again the first time I feed him. I think that's good. And maybe I'll film a clip of me handling him or something. Um, but he's very jumpy and he's very small. And I just, I'm very careful when I, when I handle him all of the like two times that I've done it. But it's like, cause they're fast and you don't want to squeeze them too hard if you were to grab them off of you. The humidity actually keeps going up. So I'm, I'm kind of with him on my bed right now next to my fan because I don't know, I'm unnecessarily worried. It's not that bad. It's like the range is like 60 to 80 normally. It's at 87 and they're kind of on the higher range of the temperature too. It should be fine. I also like this reader could be slightly off. And that always scares me. I think I'm going to try and pick him up, maybe. We'll see if he lets me. Also opening this lid should let out some of the humidity. I don't believe, like there's no chance that it's, there we go, it's already going down. Just went down one degree. He's right back there. Look at him. He's so cute, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah, it just went down three points already, the humidity. But damn, this is holding humidity better than I thought. And also the temperature is going down. I might have to like drill more holes in this because I can't have it being that humid. I keep being scared that at every like loud noise, it's gonna drop its tail. Like I know it's not gonna do that, but. Hi guys, just got back from like a fucking a long ass day and I'm just about to mist Beaver's enclosure. This is a leaky mister thing that I'm using to mist Beaver's enclosure. We're gonna start with that. Let's see what the humidity goes up to because that was very low. It was at uh, 50. Um, the temperature is good though. That's, that's important because low, oh low humidity won't kill them. High temperature might. This is a new reader I got. This says humidity percentage. This is just whether it's like normal for a house, which this isn't going just in my house. So this part's going to be pretty useless, but it'll tell you the low and the high the humidity has been in the past 24 to 36 hours. And then this is the temperature, it's in Celsius right now, which is why it seems so low, but it's not, it's 23. That's normal room temperature. And then and once again, lowest and highest it's been in the past 24 to 36 hours, which this was only turned on a few hours ago. So it's not gonna be like that, that accurate, but this is like a magnet. So I'm planning on magnetizing it to like the side of the thing so that it'll tell me. Yeah, Beaver, um, he's doing great. I was really scared that uh, he was gonna be fucking dead when I came home. And I know that's like a, oopsies. That's like a stupid thing to be scared about because obviously he's not gonna fucking die. Even if something I was doing was like slightly wrong, he's not just gonna die in one day. I mean, obviously to the best of your abilities, like do everything right. Sorry, there's like a stain here. Had the shirt for one day, white t-shirts, man. It's a curse. Anyway, humidity's already going up. And it's almost at 70, uh, but it's, it's in the sixties now it's at, which is acceptable. I'm going to miss it once again, make sure it's high eighties or like at least in the eighties before I go to bed. Cause it'll evaporate all throughout the night and day tomorrow, but tomorrow I'll be home. But yeah, I was holding him and he was doing pretty well. I mean, he did jump out of my hand after like maybe 10 seconds, but that was 10 seconds of, of him in my hand. 
So I think that was pretty good. I love him so much. Oh, hi. Oh, also from work, I stole, I don't wanna say stole, but I took a snake shed. This was a baby corn snake. I love looking at the little eyes. I think they look so silly. I'm gonna put this in my room with my other snakes. <laughs> it's so funny, I'm in like a weed t-shirt, like giant sweatpants that are five sizes too big. And I was just in front of in, in front of Sydney's face. I'm like holding it, this snake skin. And she's like, that's this whole moment right now is so Eden. And I was like, you're right. Oh my God, the point, I needed to feed him. Oh my God. Okay, he's probably not even gonna eat if I'm being honest. But we still gotta try. So we're gonna do a little unboxing of uh, one of the food cups that I have. Feels like silicone. Exactly what I thought it would feel like. But uh, yeah, very cool. I'll do like a, this angle unboxing of the next one but I really only need one right now. And then this is the Pangea, which I'm gonna open. Doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. Very interesting. Got a few drops. I'm gonna put a few drops of water. I'll put some water in this. I'm actually gonna do this over this bowl. It's a Tupperware, but is that if I spill water everywhere? It's not that bad, but I didn't. Oh, because I'm a genius. And then I really need like proper utensils to be able to do this right. I'm gonna pour some of this in here. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna get a teaspoon. I actually got one fourth of a teaspoon because a teaspoon is way bigger than I remember it. And I put that in here. And I'm just going to mix the water. I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. We're going to, yeah, that should be good. That's the right consistency, but that's far too much. I've got a whole bunch on my nail. <gasps> Let's see if he'll, if he'll eat it from my hand. Okay, wait. He's like right here. He's crushing it. Oh my God. He's licking it right off my nail. How cute. Okay, sadly I do have to take my finger out of there because I kind of need it. But I'm gonna put the bowl in there and I think he'll be fine. Here's a whole lot more of that for you. Right there, look. There's a whole bowl of it. Look, there's food. Oh, you just got your toes in it. He has now realized, after a lot of effort and me wiping his feet, he's realized that that is more food. He's 100% not going to eat all of that. I definitely made too much, and it's just a fucking mess. But he's adorable, and I want him to grow big and strong. And I'll take that out tomorrow morning, so I won't give him, like, stale food. But he does know that that's more food now. And I hope he doesn't lose it. Temperature's at a very reasonable 72 and 80% humidity, which is perfect. So I'm gonna put the lid back on, not let any more humidity escape, but I can still see him perfectly well through this tub. And he's coming right for me, hi. Hi, baby. Oh, he's licking it. Licking up the water. Oh.